When you're pregnant with twins or triplets, your body is already nourishing more than one baby. After the birth, you can continue to give your babies the best possible nutrition by choosing to breastfeed. In this film, we'll meet three mothers who are breastfeeding their twins. We'll learn from their journeys and discover where to find help. Frankie is a first-time mum with twin daughters Natalie and Sean. The girls are now five months old and Frankie has a busy week that includes plenty of time with her babies and also time for herself to get back into shape after her pregnancy. And at first it really seemed like a very daunting prospect going out for the day and feeding two babies and now I'm, I'm quite used to it and, and it really is quite a lot easier. Certainly I don't have to faff around with, with making any bottles or carrying any bottles while I'm out anywhere and worry about sterilising them. So we do go out quite a lot now and, and I'm quite happy to feed them while we're out and about. On top of the, the convenience of having a, a busy day and having a lot to do, not having to bother with bottles is, is really good. But it's more than that and it, it really is a, a lovely, lovely feeling to be able to feel that I'm, I'm nourishing my two babies and they're growing and, and it's everything that I'm giving them and it, it really just makes me feel as if it's so special. Five months in, Frankie finds oh, breastfeeding oh, easy oh. and enjoyable, yeah, yeah. but like most mothers of twins or triplets, she needed some help to get started. Well, they were born at 37 weeks by planned section and within a few hours then I tried to feed them and Natalie seemed to latch on okay. Sean didn't, so we left it a little while longer. Um, but as time went on, then it became apparent that, that Sean was going to struggle a little bit. I had some really excellent support from the midwives in the unit and they really spent a lot of time with me and encouraged me. After your babies are born, your midwife can help you make sure they are attaching and feeding well. And if you feed them regularly and often, your body will produce plenty of milk for them. Once breastfeeding is well established, you may wish to encourage your babies to feed together. If you choose to feed them separately, it can be a good idea to wake the second baby once the first has been fed, to keep their feed times together and make sure you have a break. If your babies are born early and need special care, they may not be able to feed at the breast straight away. But the unique nutrition and protection from breast milk is especially important for them. You can express breast milk, which your babies can receive by tube. Your midwife and neonatal team will help you learn how to express and how often to do it. And you may find it helpful to watch the short films on preterm babies and expressing. Grace and James were born early and were fed this way for the first month. Now they're learning to feed at the breast. They got moved out of the incubators, which was great. They're in these cots now and you can lift them and feed them. And it was great holding them and giving them their tube feeds at first as well, while you're holding them till they get used to that. And then gradually um, was putting them to the breast and seeing if they would take a, like even a small feed. Slide your hand round, so rather than a grab, yeah. make it sort of a shelf. Because mm -hmm. you wouldn't like if you had no. someone round your neck. But... Twins or triplets who are born early will need extra support and time to feed effectively. It can be a good idea to feed your babies individually until they are attaching well at the breast. Getting the right support before you go home is very important, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Nice big fat cheeks and the big glug glugs. Mm -hmm. That's a great feeling to know that you're actually, you're, you're now feeding them and, and not having to, to tube feed them. Um, and, and know that, that, that you're nourishing your own babies. Yesterday was their first full day and night of taking their own feeds and they've done okay. They're a bit tired, but you know, they're doing all right, so... And then hopefully they'll get home and that'll be them. Samantha and Filippo are newly home from hospital with their newborn twin sons. They and their teenage children are still getting used to having two new babies. I was overwhelmed. 
scared to touch them, scared to pick them up, but I think within days I wanted them on me. So I wasn't scared after a couple of days, it was definitely give them to me, I want to see them, I want them to smell me, touch me and everything. And he wanted to do the skin to skin, didn't they? Yeah. Like they taught us that in the hospital to try and stimulate them to feed them because he was quite a sort of sleepy baby. Um, and the midwife said to me, oh, you do this, take, get, undress them and put them underneath your nightie and on your chest. I thought, that's not going to work because I've never done that before. And you held them there for about 40 minutes and they fed. I was, I was shocked at that. Something so simple would stimulate him to feed. With plenty of skin-to-skin -skin contact, the boys were soon feeding well. Now, Samantha's getting used to feeding two babies at once. The challenges of feeding two are probably trying to get them on and keep them on. That's quite difficult, but now I've got the hang of it. As long as I've got lots of pillows around me, it's quite easy to do. If one of your babies is a better feeder, it can be a good idea to let him attach at the breast first. Done. This will stimulate the milk to flow in both breasts, which may help your other baby. I, I do prefer that this is a lot more natural and it's you think you I'd go for this all the time. You make milk. Seems odd not to not to use it. It's what you know. In the early weeks at home with your babies, it helps to have extra pairs of hands around. Partners and other family and friends can all help. And, like everyone, it's good to try to eat healthily and rest when you want to. Frankie had to find ways to manage after her husband went back to work. And she discovered there was lots of support out there. Well, obviously, while I was in hospital, then I had quite a lot of support from the staff there. But when I came home, it was just myself and my husband. Um, and when he went back to work, it was frightening. And, and I didn't know how I was going to cope. Somehow we managed. We had some support from, obviously, the midwives and the health visitors. And then I was put in touch with a, gr a group called Buzz and Buddies, which is a group of breastfeeding mums through Sure Start. And we get together once a week and talk about problems and talk about how we've managed to overcome them. And, and that really is a great support. It's, it's a, a lovely way of just chatting with other mums, but also having other people's experiences that, that I can learn from. Hello, little Shah, and how are you today? Frankie also has some help from a charity called Home Start, which supports parents. Twice a week, a trained volunteer comes to spend a few hours with Frankie and her babies. This gives Frankie the freedom to go out and do things that would be difficult alone. And there are other organisations which can help you. The Twins and Multiple Birth Association, or TAMBA, and the Multiple Births Foundation, or MBF, can provide you with information and leaflets and also run a variety of classes and support groups where you can meet specialists and other mothers. Their contact numbers and web addresses are on the Best Beginnings website or click the Where Can I Go For Help button on your menu. It's okay. Oh, that bottom lip. Gradually, Frankie has been able to encourage her babies to have regular feeds together. Hello, sweetheart. As time's gone on, then they've become aware of each other while they've been feeding. And one of them will look up and see the other and catch their eye and they'll start smiling because they can't feed and smile at the same time. But it's just the, the loveliest thing to see them. So they, they obviously are starting to be aware of each other. And, um, and obviously it's something that they have to share. So hopefully as they, as they grow, they'll learn the, the concept of, of sharing and, and enjoying a meal together, hopefully. Oh. Through breastfeeding, Frankie is now enjoying a special bond with her babies. It's, it's also just lovely just being so close together and, and having that special time with the babies. And, and that really does motivate me, just having this closeness that's, that's just so important. Um, and, and I really want to carry that on as, as long as I can. So this closeness is, is really the, the most beautiful thing to have with them. If you are expecting more than one baby, you may want to watch the films about expressing and breastfeeding preterm babies just in case your little ones come early.